Uh, hi friends, today in this tutorial I will be telling you about a fake REST API for developers. So this is JSON placeholder. If you go to Google and type here JSON placeholder dot, dot, dot type a code dot com, you will be redirected to this website. And in the example, we will be making a simple get request to this uh, route here. This is the JSON placeholder. If you go to this URL, it will be returning a simple JSON response with, uh, with four properties, user ID, ID, title and completed. So here we will be making this request using fetch. So first of all, just make a brand new HTML file and give it a title of uh, JSON placeholder uh, demo with fetch API. So as you all know that fetch is comes with with every browser. So inside the body, we will be having a simple button which will trigger this action. We will be having a on click and we click this button. We will be making this request method and uh, let me just have uh, request data. This is a label of the button and now we just need to make this simple function of uh, inside the script. So make a script tag. So inside this we will write the request function like this so inside the request function we will be making the fetch request so in order to make the fetch request we just need to initialize fetch and then provide the url so this is a url so let me just again copy paste the url so this is url so basically it, it will return a to do here in order to handle the response we will be having dot then so this is a promise based api so this returns a promise response and uh, now we just need to handle this by in, first of all we just need to return this response.json we need to return it in, inside the json format again we will be invoking this dot then callback function will be executed and now it will contain the response for us so function response we can also do this like this so we will be having the response now like this we can do a ES6 convention. This is arrow function. We can also do like this also instead of function response. This is clear and concise also. You can see that we are following the modern programming approach. So now we can just simply console log the response which is coming back from the API. And now if I reload the browser, this was our app. If I refresh request data, Go to the console and you will see that the same data is retrieved. If you can see that four properties are there and now if I expand this you will see that user id, id, title completed. I can even print this on the screen on the browser. Let me have a simple div tag which will be holding all of our result. And now in order to get this we will be first of all get the reference to it. So where result document dot get element by id result like this so we just need to have result dot uh, inner html and here we can just write here uh, in the back def symbol the user id like this user id is equal to and then we can just dynamically put the variable so this is response dot user id i think that this is a property which is there if you look yes and now if i refresh it oh first of all we just need to sorry result dot inner html so I think that yes inner HTML let me just see if it is working or not let me add hello world to it so it is working now you can see that hello world and now we just need to add some dynamic data we can just write here response dot user ID like this so So you can see that one the user id is one here you can see that we can even print out the id as well 
so let me have user id colon and then we can concatenate our response dot user id and then we can have our id colon and then response dot id plus the third information is there which is uh, title so title colon and then we can just concatenate the title as when response to a title and then lastly the completed field so completed colon response dot completed so this is guys so now if I refresh it all the four properties will be printed out user id 1 id 1 title this and completed false you can see that now we are successfully parsing these these values which are there inside json response and we are printing out this on the screen so in this way you can just make a simple fetch request to the json placeholder api uh, this is lot json placeholder api contains lots more example also if you see here if you don't provide any kind of value here let's suppose you make a re get request and don't provide this one value so it will return a series of you can see that it will be returning an array of uh, post here you can see that one user id1 id1 id2 id3 id4 so let me also show this example to you how to handle this if i remove this one and now in this case what you will see here let me refresh my if i request data now you will see that it will be returning the 200 times here so inside this uh, the first one is from 0 to 99 and then the second one is from the 100 to 199 so basically in order to handle this uh, you just need to have a for loop for each loop so let me have it for each loop so basically this response is will be an array in that case so we can just have a for each loop here for each and the array will be response and for each element we have let me just put a put this line above let me delete this and write put it right here before it and here we just need to not result dot in our html it is append result dot append that's it and also let me put a break tag so just after every item there will be a space some space two break tags let's suppose and now if i refresh it and one more change that we need to make here is that this will be element not response so element dot user id so for each iteration element dot id so this will become element dot title and lastly it will become element dot completed so this completes the for loop and now you will see that all of the records will be printed out if i refresh it now request data So let me just see it is taking some time to mm, let me just change this to inner HTML. So user ID ten ID 200 so it is printing out the last record so you can see that if I inspect element the last record have this ID if I show you user ID 10 ID 200 and this is a title and completed false 
so basically this is printing out the last record it is not printing out all of the records so what can I do here is that I can store this inside a reference so let me just have an item here variable and then I can just put this inside item and then I can what and I do here is that first of all I can just console log this so let me just check that if it is working console log item and then we can just append this so result dot append item like this now if I refresh it response dot for each mm, append item so basically guys this is a way by which you can just parse the data using the fetch api in json placeholder api so thanks very much for watching this video